Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Kang Toy CY Mini Zero Two Land Mini, their version of a Legends class tantrum from the Predacons. I'm gonna put them off the side real quick, and we're gonna look at this box, which is a bit smaller than uh for Mini's box. Yeah, you can see hopefully, yeah, uh, his uh, for Land Mini there and his robot and uh, bowl mode. And you got Aegis 15 Plus up there and Kang Toys logo and yeah, all that stuff. And you got down here, you got Kang Toys Mini, you got Kang or Land Mini and Land Mini and warnings and uh, yeah, all the warnings and stuff up up here and a bunch of QR codes too. A bunch of QR codes there and of course in the back you have uh, well, hey look, different bits of same pictures Land Mini or Land Mini here, just you know. Uh, Somewhat different emphasis here. And yeah, also a bunch of like fur mini uh, opens up like this. And hey, you got again nice uh, foam inside and all that stuff. So uh, there you go. Really nice boxes for mini for Legends class. You also have the manual, which it mostly it's a good job, I think. But the problem is some of it is like. It's really difficult to tell. They like a whole bunch of stuff. They like to use particular this particular symbol a lot, and sometimes it's really hell, hard to tell what the hell they're actually want you to rotate <laughs> or where they want you to rotate. Because again, when there's multiple swivels and stuff, and be like, um, which part exactly do you want me to rotate? And then you're looking at the next picture, trying to figure out where which one they're, they're talking about. So that's always fun. Anyway, Land Mini. You can see here he is well another Predacon, so he's very orange and red, and well, he got a lot of silver too. If you look at and then close here, you can see yeah, he's got a very angry looking face with a, some clung sunglasses. All you got is uh well they kind of did the thing where it's like rather than being on the head itself, it's behind the head of the bullhorn. You can have those positioned how you want. You have this big old like swooping shoulder things, like the vents and stuff. Again, some very tiny tampos. I think like the CT02. Yeah. And then you got some silver with some more tampos and some more silver and black and more yeah, you know, tampos and lots of tampos on it. Really tiny detail tan detailed tampos on this guy and looks really good and Kind of weird looking feet though, to be honest, because of how he transforms and all that. But yeah, he cleans up pretty well. The only thing is, yeah, this right here, but it's kind of supposed to be there. So I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, it looks pretty darn good. I actually rather like this one. I think I actually like it more than a Formini, just overall, just because, you know, Formini's got that impressive wingspan. It's still, I think, just overall, the thing, mostly this is better. Although I'll say there's some things about this which is a little concerning. I'll get those as like, we'll get those show up, but... Overall, it's a really solid looking robot. Um, we do have a couple accessories, including the sword with a <laughs> saw blade attached to it, which is a little bit overkill, to be honest. And again, another thing showing that, yeah, these swords are all combined into another big old sword, which will be cool when that's uh, all said and done. So you yeah, pick it in the horse. You got this nice little gun, which is mostly, you know, this gray, but you know, some silver and gold bits in it, which look real nice. You know, this looks real nice overall. Again, you can see bits that should indicate which, yeah, this guy's going to combine with stuff and uh, he can hold that pretty well. That's pretty nice. The other thing he comes with is the foot, which it's not just a foot. Well, unlike the full size one, because again, this is the Legends class. They're also doing that. They also did the full size one. The full size, this was a whole separate robot. Here, it still does something cool, which is it turns into a flight stand, or just as general, which you do that, though, uh, to do that, you untab the toes like that, and then down, down here, you untab this ring from this little slot here, and you bring that out like this, and then you rotate this whole thing right here, and you can, you know, adjust this how you want, and you have this little clamp, which you can get onto the figure in some place somewhere, and uh, clamp that in, and it holds pretty securely, and... Now you have a figure stand. You can, you know, you can pose them how you want. So that's pretty cool. You can also use this with uh, Fur Mini and you know, their Dive Bomb and all that stuff. So one thing is the clamp. So it's kind of a weird thing. I wish it was a peg system, but I understand why. Although there's a peg hole right there. So I don't understand why it's not a peg system. But yeah, um, there you go. It's a pretty cool thing that. So articulation, head, ball joint. So you got left and right. Up and down, you have waggle. It's a very tiny head. This, you know, you can adjust this how you want. Sit this thing how you want. You, have, of course, you can adjust the horns how you want. Uh, the shoulders very tight, but they do swivel 360. You have an outward hinge right there, and this kind of comes with it. 
which is such a way you can also untab that and that's a very easy to untab uh, joint which is a little frustrating he does have a bicep swivel elbows so i'm gonna get this out of his hand elbows can curl up pretty good you know pretty far right there yeah, it comes undone a little bit easier, but yeah, the, the hands are also on wrist swivel. There's wrist swivels right there, which is nice. He does have a waist swivel. Uh, as far as I can tell, no um, no ab crunch. But, you know, his hip, hip skirts can also get out of the way. They're just simple peg, um, mushroom pegs. Yeah. The hips can go forward that far. Um, back that far, outward that far. They also have a weird rocker hinge, so you can kind of do this weird kind of side-to-side -side thing with the hips and the legs. It's kind of interesting. I think that's mostly for the uh, the bowl mode, but hey, it's a thing there if you want it. You have a thigh swivel, knees. Um, there are multiple joints in there, so you can get actually a pretty deep knee bend. I've noticed the... Uh, bottom knee, um, knee joint likes to bend well before the top one so that's a little frustrating you have the knee spikes which you can uh, position how you want and the feet can be a little weird but you know uh, you have a toe joint which goes mostly down can go i think a smidge up if you position things right you do have a small bit of ankle tilt not a whole lot but a small bit and of course you can tilt the foot itself way forward and kind of somewhat again tilting it back is not so easy you also, you can adjust this, you know, if you need that, you can adjust these hinges and ball joints right here to uh, sit how you need it to, so you can get a kind of wild pose if you want. So, uh, yeah, pretty darn good. The only thing is, yeah, my biggest complaint is these come untabbed way too easily, so it's easy to actually get everything out of alignment when you don't want to. And the shoulders are scary tight. That's Those are my only real complaints. Uh, posability wise and I guess possibly just the the tightness of the knees makes it so he has a tendency to bend in such a weird way that they, his legs look start looking funny his legs can start easily look start looking funny so uh that's a bit of a bother but overall still pretty solid now uh comparisons again various legends class figures magic squares version of wild rider you can see he's a bit taller and him just a bit iron factory's version of brawl again smidge taller but he's also really bulky so that's the thing magic squares version of mixmaster which yep roughly the same height here so yeah he's kind of more on the larger end of the he's going to probably be it's looking like Brady King's gonna be a little more closer to uh, Magic Square's Devastator in height, probably. Although who knows? We'll see with that gorilla, I guess. <laughs> and of course, here he is with his uh, teammate, the one I have so far. With yeah, uh, for mini, which are roughly the same height. And by the way, uh, getting this kind of maneuvering this under all of that, this stand and all that, you can do it. But oh boy, it's uh, a little trickier. Move it under all that, and it is a trip. Everything gets in the way, but it is it's doable. It's doable. It's just yeah. <laughs> there we go. Just want to show that off because otherwise I'm like, why don't you show it off? You're mentioning it. <laughs> See. So. Gonna get this guy now into the his animal mode, his bowl mode, and then we'll continue on. So, um, first thing, I'll weapons out of the hands and stuff. Now, okay, so let me think how I wanna do this. Okay, so first things first is you wanna take the shoulder bits here and you wanna move them out and move that out, just keep it out of the way. Now here, there's a, multi, there's a hinge up in here. You wanna extend the arms down like this on this hinge and then bring that back down and bring that back down like so, right? Now you want to go ahead and uh, this you need to get open like that and let's see which way was it? It says, uh, right. Yeah, you want to 
go ahead and rotate the fist before you start rotating that. You want to rotate the fist like this so it's palm up and then like rotate that up, close this up over top and then rotate the hoof around and then rotate here at the bicep like that. You want it looking like that. No, actually, no, you got that right on backwards. You want to rotate the fist the other way around. I was wrong. I should have known. <laughs> I always do that. I just, ah, there we go. Because you want that looking like that. You don't want to see, you don't want to be able to see the, any fingers on that. Then you can rotate. There we go. So, yeah, rotate the fist so it looks, yeah, it's palm down. And then get this starting to rotate and get this opened up so you can rotate all the way, close those up, and then rotate that. Rotate this, and then of course, open this up, open that up. I think they tell you to open this up, and they just can make sure it's out of the way. So you can get in here and then, you know, bring the shoulder down, and this this one's really tight. Yeah, bring that down on that hinge. So now you get this extra block right here. See, it's a little extended. So you do that. Now, these you want to untap these like that, and then you want to bring this back so you can get the head folded in like that. And then, this is the weird part. This is the part that they didn't make, I feel like they didn't make totally clear. There's a double hinge right here. You want to bring the whole backside down on the double hinge and then bring it back forward. Make sure the head's all the way in there. And then these will tab into this lower slot right here. Like so, and then you go ahead and rotate those up like this, and then take the bull head and bring that down and rotate this around like this and just get these horns situated like that. Just kind of get that all situated like so and just kind of, you're pretty much mostly done with the, the upper body. There's a little bit more we have to do at the very end of everything. Okay, this part's a little tricky. We're here, you want to get down here and you want to get this center bit of the, uh, well, crotch plate. You want to get that untabbed and bring that up and around like this and extend that out fully like that. And then bring those, go ahead and bring those back down. This part can be a little tricky right here too. So what you want to do is get the legs get a little spread out so you can get in here and uh, untab the inner part right here. This little right here, this little silver part, you want to untab that and bring that up like this. So untab. And you go ahead and bring this out and you bring untab this right here. You untab that, you want to close this up. I'm going to bring this, this around like this. You want to fold up the, the leg like this. And this you want to bring down like so. Rotate that in and bring this up and then rotate this down at this hinge. This will close up like this. This will close up. And that will sit in there like that. And then you go ahead and close this up right there. Like that, and I'll click and tab it into place and everything, and then that will close up. And this it just kind of did its own on its own, but yeah, the knee spike will just kind of close up like that and fill in that gap right there. And that does it like that. That does that, right? Same thing on this side. Open up the inner silver panel. Make sure again the inner one like that. Get that taken care of. Then open up. Then get this out of the up and out of the way. Get this outward like so. Close that up against there. You can go ahead and close, get this extended out so you can close this up on the leg. Close this in right there. Bring this down. <laughs> close this piece up right here. That closes this up. Rotate this, oh, rotate that. Bring it down on this hinge, bring it up in there. You can yeah, adjust the hoof like that. Then you can close this up like that. And then these, there's a tabs right here, which will tab together right there that and then you bring this down top and there's slots the four two forward slots right there and bring that all down like so you're mostly done you think you're done no you're not there's one last detail which is this bit right here you want to take these and untab the unpeg these bring them down and you might have to get these a little out of the way first and bring these down these tabs right here there's like multiple there's like a hinge and a ball joint these tabs right here will go into little slots right here it's not exact and often does not like to sit properly but it's doable again same thing unpeg then bring it down 
clear that, bring it down. And then it'll tab in silver bit right there. Like that, and that will just help fill in the gaps a little bit. Then you can adjust the legs as you necessary. And I'll probably, these will also probably come untabbed a lot if you do any sort of movement, which is always a fun one. And there you go, just adjust as necessary just to get everything all, you know, hunky-dory. And there you go. There's a land mini. Mostly in his uh, alt mode. Just want to tab to sit properly. There you go. There you go. And yeah, it's a pretty impressive looking bowl thing. Well, yeah, robot bowl, yeah. No bull. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, you know, again, you got a lot of, it's mostly orange in this mode. You get some bits of red and silver and a little bit of gray, the dark gray, blackish color. You got nice gold eyes and again, more tampos. And it cleans up pretty well. I mean, everything hides away pretty well. And it actually does have a lot of thoughtfulness of like, hey, like we're going to just have these like transforming it solely for the sake of uh, filling in gaps. Although again, it doesn't work super well. But yeah, it works you know, it does transform and looks nice. And I do rather like this. He's a little red uh, dot right there, which is cool too. So, uh, almost looks like a cannon. Like that's a bear. Yeah. So do like this mode quite a bit. It looks nice. It's not, it's one of those things I think I kind of oversold it's, um, complication, but it's actually not that bad. It's just kind of, it feels more complicated is cause there's a lot of like, particularly these rear eggs, there's a lot of hinges and, uh, there's hinges and swivels and stuff. There's a lot. So it's like easy to get accidentally do it wrong and like have it all look funny. So just be mindful of that. You want these, yeah, you want these like the, the toe pieces to be kind of like the kneecaps essentially, or at least right here, not on the, not on the backside and the front side here. It just helps, you know, it just looks a little better. So articulation here at the head, you have, you know, again, the, there's a ball joint here. So you got, you know, swivel and up and down and side to side and all, you know, lots of waggle there. And also, you can kind of use the transformation hinge to look way up, although you just kind of, you know, untransform it so it can look a little funny. Uh, mouth can open. Like, ah. Uh, again, the horns can swivel. Uh, this is the same as the arms before, so you still got the swivel. It's a little tight. You got the outwards, and it's kind of weird. Yeah, you, you'd think this is weird. People kind of have a condition to think this is wrong, but you do have a double joint there, and you have this as a ball joint, so you got left and right and a little up and down and a little bit of tilting and all that stuff. You got that um you can't yeah you can't really do that like i said i, I said I was, I was speculating with the hips but i was like yeah i forgot because of how transformed there's no way that this is uh gonna go side to side anywhere unless you start untransforming stuff uh the legs back here you can kind of you know forward and back a bit um you do have a little bit of swivel right there uh there's a hinge here multiple hinges here you know hinge there this is on a ball joint again so you got up and down and rotation and a little bit of um, tilting and all that stuff and then the tail here can uh, up and down Whee. so yeah it's uh actually you know surprisingly posable all things considered it's you know not as posable as you might like but considering some of the you know beast formers I've handled this is actually one of the better ones um, posability wise but yeah real quick comparison I'm going to do the one which is of course his teammate for mini who, yeah, looks way bigger, more majestic in <laughs> that mode. But, yeah, <laughs> it's a good size. I know his, apparently it's the um, the Rhino guy's mostly the same mold. So when I when I get him, you know, I'll review him. Apparently he's out for some people. Mine is not showing up yet. So we'll wait on that. But anyway, um, pretty darn, um, d darn good bull. So, um then transform him into his leg mode and we'll wrap this thing up. So first thing there, let's see what, I, how do I want to do this? Let's see. Uh, yeah. What do you, you want to untab these and just kind of get these out of the way for a bit just because yeah, it's going to be a little nuisance. This, you want to bring this up like that. You want to bring that up and bring this tail up over like that. Just kind of bring that up away and untab the legs from each other. Cause you're going to want to deal with that a little bit. And, um, let's see, you want to rotate, you want to get these out like that. You want those fully out like this. You want to rotate this right here at that swivel right here. And this is the weird part. Um, there are, there's a tab here, which you want to get into one of these slots and it's not easy. It doesn't seem like, so yeah, you want to get into this upper slot, right? It's, it, it's a weird, weird thing. And you kind of have to, 
to have the foot out like this and it's not easy to get aligned to say the least and it's not even the particularly uh strong connection it's con it is tabbed in it's just there's a lot of spacing and it feels like it should tab in more but it does not this is and i can only separate it just to make this a little easier and you go ahead and you're here you want to rotate this and bring this again bring this up and uh tab that into that slot closer to the foot like so and then go ahead and get this all tab back together and just kind of have that like that and this will come down and tab in here now the part of the reason you might want to untab these is uh, get this up and out of the way now up here this can be a little tricky like get those swiveled like that and so you can untab these you want to bring the bull head back and bring this back and this is where things get a little uh tricky because this you want to bring this down problem is space here i found that the space here is not exactly ideal and it's yeah so what you want to do is you want to get this this right here this is the combiner port you want to get that swiveled around and that can be difficult as the head is right there so yeah, you want to kind of push this around it's doable without a tool it's just really pain in the butt so you want to get this swiveled around and it's probably there's a good chance it's going to catch on the head on the robot head and i have yet to figure out how you're supposed to do it without that happening like at least once because i swear it's like you Because, yeah, if you bring the robot head out, the problem is that then you can't get the robot head back in without causing problems. There we go. Got that through. Okay. Probably not the best way to do it, but I got through. And yeah, then get the head underneath that again. Yeah, you want this in the same position as it was in bowl mode. The, the whole torso piece, you want this so these tab into the lower slots right there and then bring this back up and like that stuff and you can bring this you want to go ahead and bring this around and this will uh sit right there like that the head rough sitting right like that just kind of bah like that this you want to go ahead and bring these up like so that's the double hinge and just kind of let those sit like that And before you do that, you bring this back in and tab those back in and then bring these down. I believe also you want to put it back up into the robot mode position. The shoulder pieces. And again, bring that, tab that in right there. That's kind of, sits like that. And on this side again, bring this, bring that back down and tab that back into the back half. And then over here again, same thing. Bring that shoulder up, bring that shoulder up. And get this rotated back up into the robot mode position. Yeah, I'm gonna close back up, all that back up, and then tab that back in. Rotate this up using the double jointed elbow, and then just re-tab that in because it came undone. And then that, that, that's that's one thing that's annoying too. Those all, yeah, angle it. Yeah, I want it kind of angled a little bit, and uh, that's oh yeah, of course, to get this thing. I forgot that. Bring that one out right there. That's all pretty much squared away, and then take. The foot piece and of course rotate this back down rotate this back in rotate all yeah you know, close this all back up and tab those back in right there that close those back up and tab that in and then this right here this is the front so what you want to do here is there's little grooves inside there you want to take this and there's this thing you know this box on the there and then you can just this and slide that in and there you go that is I believe that is, I'm going to double check on the arms, but yeah, I believe that is his robot mode, or combined mode. Yes, I was right, the, the, that is in fact the correct arm um, placement for these legs, so yay, I did it right. 
Yeah, um, biggest complaint, I think, about all this thing is just simply these little orange panels, like, do not like to stay tabbed in no matter what you do. It just, they pop out really easily. It feels like something was misaligned, like something was mismeasured or something, because, like, it will kind of tab in, but not super well. And But, you know, overall, as a foot, it looks pretty good. Um, again, these tabs are kind of weird because they are tabbed in, but they're not, it doesn't look like they're tabbed in because it's weird. But it, yeah, that's one thing is like if you pull forward too hard, it's going to just kind of slide out. That seems to be a bit of a problem, but it's on a ball joint there. So you got to be careful with that. But yeah, eventually that's going to be a connector port. I'm guessing, you know, you bring that down and swoop, and then that will help lock it in and all that stuff. Yeah. Pretty decent looking uh, leg mode. It's going to be a pretty beefy guy in the end. With pretty decent articulation. I believe he is the... Yeah, I believe he's the left leg. So, yeah. I'm not Again, not going to compare in um, combined modes. I'm going to wait for the full combined figure for that. So, yeah. Still pretty decently sized leg. It's probably going to be beefy. You know, most people believe that Predator King should be beefier than the other combiner. So, there you go on this guy. He's, um... Yeah. Overall, again, pretty solid. I rather like it. My only real complaints are the shoulders are ridiculously tight. Uh, maneuvering the head and the combiner port for the leg mode is really difficult. And those little orange side skirt pieces or whatever you want to call those don't like to stay tabbed in no matter what mode. It, either bowl mode or leg mode. They just don't like to stay tabbed in, which is really frustrating to deal with. Other than that, it's a pretty fun toy and it's... um. Looks good, I think, in all three modes. The transformation, again, mostly is good, except for that one bit of maneuvering in the getting to the combined mode. But I, I can't figure it out, and I probably did something wrong. And I'm probably someone's gonna go, "You do it like this, stupid!" I'm like, oh, whoops. <laughs> but it's a problem. Is part of the problem is just simply instructions don't explain things well. It just says move it around. It's like it doesn't move around because I can't get. It just says get this out of the way and then move it around. I, I do that, and it doesn't actually fit. I'm like, what are you doing here, Const instructions? What do you want me to actually do here? It just tells me, yeah, it'll, it'll just move around. It's like, well, it doesn't actually move around, though. And it feels like they want me to get the head out of the way. But, like, if you do that, then you can't get the head back in. I don't know. I might be doing something wrong. And you're I'm babbling. Um, but, yeah, other than that one head problem, which in the, the torso side skirts and the... Uh, way too stiff shoulders and the fact that they also come untabbed from the main body really easily i think it's overall pretty solid that's those are the big complaints i have but it's overall pretty solid the only thing is yeah on us uh, domestic retailers a 57 dollar toy which is a little feels a little spendy sometimes but he does clean up well i think he's actually overall better than for mini as a whole just in general because he feels a little more smooth and elegant in general except for that those problems i mentioned but it's still fifty-seven dollars, and I believe if you buy them from like a Chinese retailer, it would be a bit more cheap. So cheaper. So check those out. Um, his leg mate guy, the Rhino, is out too. Although I mine my store, I bought it from has not received it yet. So I'm still waiting on that. The Gorilla guy is coming pretty soon, and then we'll have the other. Uh, we'll have um, Rampage and um, Razor Claw left, I guess. After that, so we'll see. Uh, this this legends this legends uh, figure is shaping up pretty nicely so far. The legends combiner should say shaping up pretty nicely. Um, again, if you're not into the super stylized thing, this is not going to be for you. But if you don't mind the stylized things and you saw liked what you saw here, give this uh, thing a whirl. So uh, that's it for this one. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. I hope you like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Twitter. at Nemesis Prime One. Check out my codes codes.org slash Nemesis Dash Prime. Check out my coffee and my Patreon. And I'll see you next time with another video review.